Hi, I'm Julia Market, and I'm a three and a half year survivor. I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma on September the 1st, 2017. I had 13 rounds of radiation to my upper back to shrink a tumor there that had caused a wedge fracture on my spine. So for me, eating and drinking became difficult for several weeks. I used a straw for drinking and I had to eat very slowly because swallowing was a problem. The radiation also caused fatigue and my skin would burn if I got out in the sun, even for just a few seconds. I remember the first time I got out in the sun, my arms just felt like they were on fire. It felt really bad, like a really bad sunburn after being in the sun for only a few seconds. I was just stunned and surprised about this. So I decided to stay out of the sun after I had that experience. For my first chemo treatments, I was given Kyprolis. That treatment left me feeling weak and extremely fatigued. During this time, my husband had to help me with all of my usual activities of daily living, like washing my hair and so forth. I experienced a lot of insomnia. I could not sleep more than two to three hours at a time. This was due to the dexamethasone that I had to take along with the Kyprolis. When I did sleep, it was in a lazy chair, lazy boy chair, because uh, it was much too painful to get in and out of bed. I slept in that lazy boy chair for three months. I mostly just used a hot water bottle and a heating pad for my back pain. I did not have any nausea or lose all of my hair. I had family and friends who were helping me with meal preparations and shopping, which I was really, really grateful. My appetite at this time was exceptionally good, and my response to the Kyprolis was very favorable. It wiped out 90-95% of my cancer. Unfortunately, I experienced some elevated liver enzymes, so I had to see a liver specialist in Indianapolis. I was taken off all of my chemo treatments for six months. Then I was given a chemo drug of Belcade for four weeks. August 22nd of 2018, I checked into Barnes Hospital in St. Louis for my stem cell transplant. I was in the hospital for two weeks and also stayed at the Hope Lodge there in St. Louis for a week after I was discharged so I could be near Barnes Hospital just in case I had any serious issues. It was a long, difficult process causing many side effects like extreme weakness and fatigue, nausea, bowel issues. And this time I did lose all my hair. But it was well worth it in the end. It put me into remission and I regained my strength. And two and a half years later, I am still in remission and I'm feeling great. I just finished two years of Velcrade last December, and I hope to give back some of the encouragement that I received along the way. I joined the Thrive Tribe, and I'm looking forward to helping others with their cancer journey.